So first, we're going to talk about the history of siphons. The earliest dated use of siphons was in ancient Egypt, where they used clay siphons for irrigation to get water from the Nile River to their agriculture. In ancient Rome, they used aqueducts that used inverted siphons to get water from the main source all the way to their city at whatever elevation. And in Greece, Pythagoras described early siphons in the form of a greedy cup. The way the greedy cup worked was that liquid could be filled up to a certain line, but after it passed a certain line, the atmospheric pressure would push the water through using siphoning action to drain the entire cup, showing the cup could hold some liquid, but if you were too greedy, it would drain the entire cup. Here's the math for how to find the speed V2 at the end of the siphon. So for starters, using the energy equation, you can cancel out the work added from a pump and the loss, because we're assuming there's no loss in the siphon, which then allows us to use Bernoulli's equation to solve for V2. Then we apply the idea that the pressure at one and pressure at two, which is the top of both tanks, is just the same as atmospheric pressure, so those cancel out, which then gives us an equation with just velocities and heights. You then apply the reservoir assumption, which means that V1 is basically not moving, so the velocity is zero, and then also set Z2 equal to zero, which then gives us that following equation. And then finally solving that equation for V2 gives us V2 equals the square root of 2GH. In this problem, we will be finding maximum height of a siphon. To do this, we need to assume all previously used assumptions to find V2, or in this case, VD. Neglect friction and other losses, and assume the tube is uniform. To do this, we will use a manometer equation from point C to D, as shown below. After we've written down the equation, it needs to be rearranged to solve for height. And at point C, the pressure is also known as the saturation pressure, which is lower than normal pressures. The reason maximum height needs to be calculated for a siphon because once maximum height is exceeded, bubbles can form, causing a break in the siphon, and therefore the siphon fails. Now, I am going to explain a few modern applications of siphons. Siphons are commonly used to clean the gravel and debris from aquariums and fish tanks, helping to maintain a clean and healthy environment for fish and aquatic plants. Siphons can be used to water plants in gardens and fields, allowing for efficient and precise delivery of water to different areas. Siphons are used to transfer liquids between different vessels during the brewing and distilling process. This allows for the separation of liquids such as wort and beer or whiskey and mash. In plumbing, a siphon is used to prevent sewer gases from entering a building by maintaining a water barrier in the plumbing system. This type of siphon is known as a trap and is typically located underneath sinks, toilets, and other plumbing fixtures.